Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick update on MBCI Venom. I'm real excited to show you guys this update. He has new fixes as well as new moves. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Predatate no longer has infinite as well as Crouching Predatate. If you do one or the other, it will send the opponent in a false state where you can't combo any further. Also, Predatate and Venom Barrel can only be done one per combo chain. His Air Heavy Punch has been changed. He has a new move now called Venom Creep, which can be used for air combos and mid-air combo mix-ups. On Dark Wolf characters or other characters, Venom Fang does not hit on air combos. To fix this, Venom Creep has been added. The web catch throw has been prolonged and now allows you to do a follow-up combo. So it does not add to your hit count, it does prolong your combo and does additional damage. It can also catch aerial opponent. His new Venom Creep and Web Catch Fiddle is an awesome combo that can be used after an air combo or for mid-air combo mix-up. You can also switch the opponent to the other side when using the throw. Venom has a new move called Venom Glide from MBCI. It has three directions, down forward, downward, and horizontal. This brings Venom closer to the opponent and allows for more combos. What's really great about this update that I have done is, uh, you know, like a lot of, uh, when you're trying to find the best character for your Mugen, uh, you want a character that has not only just the best moves, you want a character that has an AI. And I created this uh, AI, my, this actually this is going to be my very first AI that I have, I have created for a Mugen character. I'd say it's not that bad, it's actually one of the best AIs I've actually made. Uh, which was pretty easy for me to do so I just want to show you guys uh, in training mode the AI that I have built for Venom um, he basically has the Mugen AI 1.0 1, 1 uh, so basically depends on your on the the difficulty level on your Mugen arcade uh, if you have it all the way to level 8 then he's gonna be pretty hard and he's gonna some brutal characters that have uh, brutal AI and I'm going to show uh, in a moment uh, him playing against Wonder Woman and Dormammu which is which uh, they have a pretty brutal AI um, right now I'm just playing uh, as Morgan and I'm playing against him at AI level 5 now you can see here that he is going to give you a bit of a challenge but he is not going to be too overwhelming or too spammy or he's not going to spam the hyper so much um, he is going to combo you though but he gives you at least some breathing room for you to do whatever you need to do so i can still hit him i can still air combo him 
you know, it's not gonna be like a super blocker or it's gonna be like just giving you no room to breathe. So uh first character that I'm gonna show uh him playing against is Wonder Woman. If you guys ever played Wonder Woman uh or against her, he has one of the most I would say brutal AI and she her every move that she has, all her specials, all her hypers, they they're almost so safe for her to block. And she can spam it again and she gives you no room to breathe. Um she doesn't she just doesn't leave you alone. She keeps dashing, she keeps throwing you, she you know, as you can see here she's just totally trying to like annihilate you. <laughs> annihilate you and not give you any room but this uh, Venom AI is um, pretty brutal as well he has his zoning capabilities uh, his traps and everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, let you guys watch um, him playing against Wonder Woman and Dormammu which I think have m the most brutal AIs and at AI level 6 through 8 he is going to be the hardest, uh, but you can still beat him. Uh, a human player can still beat this AI that I've created. Um, he can just beat very predictable um, AIs like this one. So without further ado, I'll, I'll let you guys uh, watch and I hope you enjoy. We're going to mess you up! Fight! No! 
は Fuck you. 